These are the people of Ikarama community protesting and chanting solidarity songs in Yenugua local government area of Bayelsa State over alleged harassment by NSCDC in the community. For the people of Ikarama, being an oil-rich community is turning out to be more of a curse than a blessing. They claim the latest incident happened in the thick of the night when gunshots were heard. The incident left one indigent injured. Around 3 o'clock in the night, we are for us. I hear gunshot boom. Two times, now I come, come at gun check. I say, what did they happen? When I come, come check, I see boys them. They say, my brother, don't fall down. We got a signal. You know, normally we have a, a community vigilante group on ground in the community because of incessant or uh, issues that have been happening in the community. So the men were on ground, they saw a strange van going out and they discovered that a woman was in the van. So they went out to ask the security man what is actually happening, what has happened, let us know what is happening. What they got in return from the civil defense men, we are going to direct at the youth. Defending the actions of the NSCDC, the commandant, Mr. Godwin Wachiko, insists that his men were only carrying out the legitimate duties. Sometime last week, um, oil, Ajib oil pipeline was vandalized. Late last week, too, uh, Shell's oil pipeline was also vandalized. We put out our arsenal to monitor what actually happened. And there are suspects that are being marked so that we can now ask one or two questions. Then one of them happens to be the one my men went to the house to ask him questions. In the process, he escaped. So in order to scare away them, Maybe they, that's when they release the shooting. That is in the air. I don't think they shoot any human being. Although the NSCDC has released the only woman arrested during the incident, an uneasy calm lies in the community following allegations of persistent harassment against the residents by the Defence Corps.